is over. Members of the whole community gathered at the First Presbyterian Church to honor those who lost their lives to COVID-19 with a candlelight vigil. The 528,000 now lives that have been lost for each thousand, there's a dove out there on the bell tower. Now some of these doves right here behind me have names written on them. They were submitted to the church by people who had lost a loved one to COVID-19. There's pe nine people I know who have passed away from COVID in the last year. We shouldn't be in this position. It's just been really a difficult year that way. Cheryl Gamber was the lead of the Dove Project. She says she chose that particular symbol as a sign of peace and hope. We wanted to honor um, all the folks who had passed away. Witty, caring, and kind. I think it's really important, but it's just such a few that we're able to recognize. Church member Mary Lee Hutland submitted her own names, which were honored at the ceremony. The death toll, as Pastor Kirk mentioned, is only a portion of what we're grieving. You don't have to go one or two people away to be connected to folks who are grieving and hurting from the loss of someone that they've loved. As the group stood in darkness, it was the flame of their candles which brought light to a quiet churchyard, but also hope for a better tomorrow by remembering those from the past. In Holt, Jace Harper, News 10.